I've showed you the patterns. I'm looking for a first drop that goes all the way down to here, the low 12 to mid 12,000 range. And uh, right now we're in just cruise control upwards, which is fine. Uh, you can never, you know, you, no one's going to be able to predict the exact top. I can calculate where it's likely to go, but that's up to the charts. Um, but we are way, way overbought. And I've seen lots of larger sellers come in and uh, they're slowly trickling in. They're, they're not upsetting the balance. Um, they have long-term buyers that are just holding and they're able to sell into them. And later on, what they'll do is they'll, they'll do a forced pump where they pump it down. And these are the Bitfinex guys, so they have plenty of coin to do this with. And they will crush the numbers downward. Um, that won't deter the longer term institutional investors, but that will freak out the, the silly little retail traders and so forth and cause all kinds of uh, disruption to the market. And we've seen that. And when is it likely to take place? We'll see. Um, everybody forgets the, the big spike down moves uh, you know, in history. And uh, they forget about all the moves before. And we've seen this play out many times. Just like nobody thought that we would go under the ever again, the five to, we even got down to under 4,000 and uh, we did. And I exited and bought and everybody was like freaking out because uh, I was fully invested and what, what, what are you doing? And sure enough, went upwards and uh, the same thing has occurred just to the opposite side. And we've seen this play out many times before uh, and we'll see it play out many times again. Uh, it would be nice to get some volatility in here of some up and down movement, but uh, no rush. That's up to the, you know, uh, up to the charts and, uh, you know, I don't predict the future. I let it play out as it will likely occur. I go with the, the highest statistics. I don't need to go over and predict the future. I just go with what happens most of the time. And my quantitative uh, statistics that I use and the math I use is uh, some of the best you can get. So. Um, not worried about it. Now let's go over and take a look at some other things. Let's take a look at uh, Tesla. Tesla, my favorite. You know that this over here was my favorite trade of the year. Technically, uh, I know it's a stock for some of you. You're not into it, but uh, for those who are, this was a great trade, and it went right down the target. And I'm um, expecting Bitcoin to do something very similar like this. Uh, when doesn't matter, but it's likely to occur. Uh, so I've reshorted here, maybe not as much size as I did on the first move up because this was a technical trade and this had greater validity. This is a long term, um, just a valuation trade, I guess you can call it. Uh, and because uh, it's extremely, it's valuation, it's just silly, honestly. So now you have all these other manufacturers are. are chasing Tesla and they're going to be looking to take market share away from them um, and compete with them. Tesla does have a great lead and their tech is fantastic so they have a good roadmap but their valuation is just extreme. It's just silly. It's just not sustainable. Uh, so when people get back into normality which we're in a very abnormal psychology range of whatever reasons doesn't matter. I mean examples are Trump and you know, the, the silliness of uh, when all of this clears out, we start to return to normalized behavior patterns. Um, these overvaluations are going to get crushed. Uh, I'm kind of almost wanting to put more uh, into this, but I, I, I'm not a greedy person and I'm well diversified. And uh, I, I think I'll get my targets to the downside in the future. Uh, when they happen, they happen. Uh, again, not worried about this one, but this is a really good trade uh, from a valuation point of view. Um, uh, let's see, what other things do we have here? Uh, we know all about CVX that closed out this week. This was a great trade. I mean, I don't have to tell you. Um, you know, it, it looked horrible and everybody was complaining about it when it was dropping under the 70s and then I just bought, 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 and, you know, bam, in one day's time, just, you know, goes right up to target. Beautiful, great trade. 
uh, balances out once again. From here, not really interested in it. I've uh, taken my profits. I'm going to move on to others and seeing what I've got a couple of good coins that are going to be in the Wi Fi. I'll also take a look at our Wi Fi hit that we had here. Uh, you know, I sold it as it went above the 75% return in just over a week, right? Was that not fantastic? And I had good volume on this one. I was able to get good size. Uh, mainly because of the you know high degree of liquidity that it had in there so um, bigger money was able to take advantage of this and uh, that worked out perfectly and I, I had to move even under the 8,000 level I wasn't sure they were gonna be able to push it but the volume looked like they could and they did they almost got it down to 7,000 which is amazingly uh, you know um, you know it's they were able to push it that far but this is crypto and um, you know, I it's a, you know as great as the quantitative statistics I use and and being able to identify uh, price points. There's always going to be that chaotic value of the unknown, um, and uh, though it's lessened over time because there have been more uh, institutions moving into the space and competition globally, and that has an impact because you get different you know, different type of players and people that involved in the, the market. Uh, but I, I do have two other plays I'm looking at, and I think they're going to be right along this Wi-Fi uh, in terms of returns. Now, the speed differentials um, on them, one of them is hyperbolic, uh, but it's not enough volume for me to really talk about yet. And uh, it's not set up correctly and neither is the other one so I'm, I'm just gonna wait on those but those look to be some big plays and they might even be higher uh, than what this return which this is really good uh, so but I'm not gonna talk about those yet um, you know I had one friend had talked about the these uh, pot stocks and so forth that's another area I'm invested in but I don't really talk about them and I'm only invested in the top three and this is one of them true Levy, uh, which is uh, something uh, I myself use I like their their brand and this is a corporate uh, but I had this for a long time and I was a buyer way back under 12 and I, I've held on to this and um, this is a great long-term hold in my opinion because this is a really well-run business uh, but you know I was asked about this and the Robin Hood gangs that a uh, few of the people that um, I know you know were interested in my opinion and I, and I said this is just one that I'm holding for the future you know and nothing to really do here there's nothing to look at it's very overbought at some point it might go back down to the low 20s but for now enjoy the you know and they did recently have earnings and whatnot but uh, uh, you know it's a long-term home uh, nothing interesting there but uh, other than that I don't want to bore you too much SNX uh, again I'm just holding this and this is a small trade this is not much worth it this is very risky uh, do not misunderstand me on this one this is not one I'd be putting huge amounts into but I'm holding this one for the future. If it pays off, and uh, I think it could because of what they do. Remember, they're synthetically trading stocks and uh, things that, you know, uh, asset classes that are not crypto based, but they're using crypto as the container, the, the, the uh, vehicle to go over and trade it, which makes it a very interesting proposition. Um, of course, uh, as that grows, uh, they they might freak out the exchanges and they'll be saying well we want our cut and you know this is not okay with us and you'll probably you might get regulatory actions against them in the future right now they're too small uh, not an issue so you know but if they blow up and they go you know sky high in the future um, uh, don't be surprised and uh, then you would might see the regulatory action that's when I would be taking profits but again, this is not one that I would put any real money on because there's too many unknown variables in here. I just like it, and for some reason, I, I believe it has uh, it, it shows what I'm looking for for the future. Um, 
other than that, what, what other thing, interesting things do we have out there? Well, I can't talk about the two that I want to, um, but uh, in the future, I'll talk about those. Other than that, you, I hope you guys have a great week, and I'll talk to you again soon.